Hey friends, it's me again. Today I'm going to explain both variable scope and scope resolution. Variable scope is where a variable is both visible and accessible. With scope resolution, when we're using a variable, there is a certain order known as the LEGB rule in which we locate that variable. Local, enclosed, global, built in. We'll get to this momentarily. Let's begin with variable scope. I have two functions, function one, function two. Within function one, a equals one, then we print a. Within function two, b equals two, then we print b. If I were to invoke these functions, let's invoke function one, then function two, we would print one, then two. Variables declared within a function have a local scope. Variable a is local to function one, variable b is local to function two. Within function one, if I were to print b, and function two, if I were to print A, we would run into a name error. Name B is not defined. And the same thing would apply with A. Functions can't see inside of other functions. Imagine that we're function one. This is our house. We can see everything that's going on inside of our house. But function two is our neighbor's house. We can't see what's going on inside of our neighbor's house. We have no idea what B is. With function two, function two has no idea what A is. That's where variable scope comes in. It's where a variable is visible and accessible. Functions can't see inside of other functions, but they can see inside of their own function. That's why we sometimes pass arguments to functions so that our functions are aware of them. Using this concept, we could create different versions of the same variable. Let's rename a to be x and b to be x as well. Then I will print x. We have two different versions of x, a local version of x found within function one and a local version of x found within function two. Whenever we utilize a variable, we will first look to see if there's any local instance of that variable. If there isn't, we would move to the enclosed scope. With an enclosed scope, one example is when you have a function declared within another function. I'm going to place function two within function one. This is allowed in Python. This is a more advanced concept. We'll cover this more in the future. So I'm going to eliminate this print statement. Let's get rid of function two. At the end of function one, we will invoke function two. Like I said, it's pretty complex. We won't be using this until much later. Within function two, if I was to print x, we would use the local version where x equals two. If I was to eliminate this variable declaration, we would use the enclosed version instead, where x equals one. There's an order of operations. Use any local variables first, then enclosed variables. We're printing x within function two. Since x wasn't found within the local scope, we would use x within the enclosed scope. But like I said, that's a more advanced topic. You should at least be aware of it. Let's move on to the global scope, global meaning outside of any functions. I will eliminate these variable declarations. Within function one, we're printing x, and within function two, we're also printing x. I will declare a global version of x, where x equals three. x is outside of any functions. When I run this program, we're printing three twice, once for function one and once for function two. There's no longer a local version of x for both of these functions. If there were, we would end up using these local versions instead. Function one prints one, function two prints two. If there's no local version, as well as no enclosed version, we would move on to the global version, where x equals three. Last in our order is built in. I think what we'll do though is from math import e. e is an exponential constant. I'm going to print what e is. e is 2.71. e is built in. I will create a function to print e. Define function one. All I'm doing is printing e. Then we should invoke it. Invoke function one. If I was to set e to be a different value, like three, what we're doing technically is creating two different versions of e. Variables can share the same name as long as they're within a different scope. We have a built-in version of e and a global version of e. If I was to print e now, it would print my global version because using the legb order, we would first look for any local version of E, then enclosed version, then global, 
which we do have one of, then lastly built in. All right, everybody, so in conclusion, variable scope is just where a variable is both visible and accessible. Python has a scope resolution order, LEGB. If we're using a variable, we will first look in the local scope for that variable. If we don't find that variable in the local scope, we will move over to an enclosed scope, then global, then built in. We will have more practice with this in the future. And well, everybody, that is both variable scope and scope resolution in Python.